Welcome back to the channel. And today I got that Moper filter I've been promising for so long. An MO409 Mopar filter, genuine parts and accessories from Mopar. Got some interesting details on here. Nothing really interesting on the side here. It's just kind of like stuff. But here, they pointed out a few things here on the box. Like, uh, they're pointing out at the, uh, let's see, in, internally lubricated seal gasket provides better torque removal and easy replacement. Uh, and also, the other one that's in English here, adhesive filled double lock uh, seam can withstand pressures up to 300 PSI. Well, that's pretty good. I gotta say that. And there's one more thing here that they're talking about. Fluted case allows easy installation and removal. So those are the special things that they believe will make this filter special, or they wouldn't put them on the box. I kid you not. I'm sure that is what they think. Well, let's get her open and take a look at her. Now, it's been said that uh, Wix and Purilator make this filter. We gotta hold her upside down. Darn. So that's what they say. Wix and Purilator make this filter. But it is made in the USA, it says right here. Made in the USA. And then it's a registered trademark or whatever. Well, I don't know about Wix. I checked it with some of the Wix I have. It don't look anything like that. But I checked it with the Purilator. And it kind of looks like that. So there's the opening to the Purilator. We're, we're, we're pretty close here, aren't we? We're pretty close. So, we even got, even got the same numbers. Three, four, sixteen. Uh, oh, where are we here? Three, four, sixteen. This one just has an L on it. This one doesn't. So there you go. I think we, I think Purilator makes uh, Mopar filters here. At least that's what it looks like. At least it's got the same base plate. Except this one for Purilator is slightly different. This one has a bit more, bit more curvage on it. A bit more angle. This one's a little flatter. So, yeah. Who am I to know? Who am I to know? All I know, this looks like a fine filter. I gotta admit. Nice heft to it. I mean, you could, you could throw that thing pretty good in the backyard if you got mad at it. I'm pretty sure you could reach the neighbor's yard pretty easily. And, uh, you know, yeah, it feels about the same for the pure leader. But, hey, the weight on that, 249 grams. 249. So, for, the, for, for those of you who like these date codes, there we go. Um... What is it? F O one R one three D two? I think that's what it says. So I don't know. We're gonna get into this one. We're gonna see how this one's made. I do see that this one looks like it is a nitrile uh, rubber anti drain back valve, whereas the Purilator has the uh, silicone uh, anti drain back valve, but. Something walking in my leg here. I don't know. Maybe there's a thread or something in my pants. Keep on feeling something there. Yeah, it's wood tick season. It's kind of got me jumpy. Darn. Okay, let us get into this. And we'll get this baby cut open. And, well, first, let's take this seal off. You know, this is that lubricated seal or whatever. Oh, excuse me. Uh, what's a what they say here? Internally lubricated seal gasket. 
What do you mean this thing's internally lubricated? Looks just like a rubber seal to me. Internally lubricated. I, I don't know what they're talking about there. They, there's some technology going on here I don't know about. Well, there's probably a lot of technology going on I don't know about, but I'll tell you. That just looks like a normal seal to me. So, I, I'm not sure on that one. I can't wait to get this one apart so we can see what she looks like inside. Let's see if it is any relation to the pure later, even though I think this is made by pure later now. Totally. So I'll bring you back when I got her all cut open. Well, I got her cut open, and I'll tell you, this thing don't have a real spring in it. It's got one of those leafy springs in it, because you can tell she's not popping up. She's just sitting there like a lot of the purulators do. Ooh. But, da-da. There we go. Yeah. Good old leaf spring. Hmm. Look at that in there. Uh, leaf spring is... It's pretty light. Hmm, still got seven grams out of it. What's the one in the... Uh, top-notch one. Oh, they look identical. Seven grams. All right, we pretty well deducted that they're, this Mopar is a Purilator filter. But, okay, I gotta say though, it is made to Mopar, Chrysler Mopar, uh, specifications that they give the company to make their filter. So, there's some things made in this one that might not be made in that one. So, that, that's the way that works. And, well, that's usually what they say. Cup. Uh, 43 grams for the cup. I should do something with these cups. They're awesome. Cup. 43 grams. Oh, nothing surprising there, is there? All right. Let's put those in there. Let us pull off this. Well, let us get a look at, uh, there's three threads there. Three threads definitely on that, uh, yeah, three threads. Hmm. thought there would be more. Uh, I, I do like these kind of holes they put in these though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven holes. Uh, seven holes as we always remember. Remember, actually, I didn't tell you, this filter fits a lot of Jeep products. And you know, the Jeep, here's the conspiracy. The Jeep has seven slits in its grill. This has the seven holes in its, uh, in its filter. Huh? Conspiracy? Or not? You know, for the seven continents? Nah, it's just there's seven holes in here. That's all. No conspiracy, I'm sure, on that at all. Very nicely made, though. I, I did think the Pure Leader one was made very nice. I think this one's made pretty darn good, too. I like her. Uh, pretty good size base plate and 107 grams. That's a hefty one. Uh, yeah, this is just your normal... I don't even think this is nitrile rubber. It, it just feels like rubber. It already feels like it's, it's getting kind of... Hmm, I don't know deformation there. What the funny thing is, these things are made identically and yet one is rubber and the other one is silicone. Silicone one weighs four grams and rubber one weighs three grams. So, hmm, I just find that kind of funny. All right, uh, let me count the pleats up on this. Wow, that, that filter has 68 pleats on her. Yeah, you can see they're pretty close together, except around here. I don't expect them to be too close here. But, uh, you know, it's it's not that bad, really. It's uh, got a lot of pleats. Got a lot of... Uh, they're not too far apart from each other all the way around. So I'd say it looks fine. It looks perfectly fine for whatever type of filtration this may be. 
which we will take a look at soon. But it does have the metal strip. Well, you know what? There's something I didn't do. I didn't measure the uh, thickness of the case. And that's something I started doing. And something I continue to do. I don't know why. I just like doing it. I like to know how thick the cases are. So, let's not do it on the sticker. Well, that one's 32, 31. If that's, yeah, it's it's pretty thin. I, I know it is. It's pretty thin. It's like just as thin as the Purolator there, which I measured in at 34, but only probably because it had slightly thicker paint on it. And it was probably the same as the, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty well the same. So what can I say? Uh, 32, 34, in between there, and that's millimeters, 0 0.32, 0 0.34. Ooh, anti drain back valve. Here we go. Well, this one seems to work pretty good. Got some pressure on there. That's, that's not bad, you know. Yeah, that seems to work fine. I seem to remember it worked fine on this one. Or did it? Oh yeah, got lots of pressure. As you can see, the sloppiness on both of them would prove that they are from the same plant. <laughs> and the, uh, well, this other one over here only had 54 cleats, but you can tell it's the same process that made it. So, yeah, they're made by Pure Liquor, obviously. Well, let me get this filtration off, and we'll take a look at that. Well, there we go. I got her off. Of course, the top came off. <laughs> What's new about that, right? Oh, uh, yes, we have the Lovered um, center tube. Yeah, some people like them, some don't. I like the holes, or I like the E-cores, or whatever. I like there to be lots of room for things to move through. So, you know, it's... I, I like it to rely on the filtration to give me my uh, back pressure type system through a filter. Not these little, eh, lovers. Oh well, that's, that's probably my problem. It doesn't have to be yours. All right, let's get a look at this. <sighs> For lots of pleats, this seems shorter than it, than I thought it would be. Hmm. It just seems shorter. Uh, kind of looks like your typical stylus, or mm, might be some fiber in there. Might be. If I hold it up where you might be able to see it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's got, it's got multi-layer, though I gotta admit, there's multi-layer in there. Looks like it'd do a great job. Uh, can we say it's probably identical to... Well, maybe it's not identical. There are different colors on these. This is the, was that the inside? Uh, oh yeah, this was the outside. Okay, right, straight. Well, it is kind of different, I gotta admit. It might be, I don't know, maybe it was just a switchover day for filtration. So, who knows? It looks like it'd do a great job though, definitely. Moper filter so far is looking pretty darn good, and I gotta admit, I'm gonna measure her out and see how much filtration we have here. So, what do we got here? We got about 53 inches or 134 centimeters, and the width of it or the height of it, two inches or five centimeters. So, um, that's not as much as I thought by how many pleats were in this? I thought this would be a bit longer. Uh, did I write down on this one? Uh, I did somewhere. But, yeah, I thought that would be... Well, 53 inches isn't that bad, really, is it? So, that's quite a bit of... Uh, let's see, 53 times 2, if my math ain't wrong. It's about a 106... Uh, kind of like square inches of filtration. Hmm. If my math ain't wrong. And sometimes it is definitely wrong. So, 
There we go. How much did this filtration weigh anyways? Uh, well, 16 grams. Okay. I've weighed a lot less, and I've weighed somewhere more. That's pretty good, though. That's pretty good. And as you can tell, this stuff isn't, isn't as thin. It, it's got some, uh, you know, I think this stuff is a pretty good filtration. Just like on the Pure Leader there, it looks like she'd do a great job. Would I use this filter? Oh, sure, why not? I just didn't have any vehicle that this fit, and I ordered this off of... I think I got this off of Amazon or something, or, I don't know, Rock Auto. Can't remember. I got it a little while ago. It's one of those. Probably Rock Auto? I'm not sure. But, uh, good filter? Yeah, definitely good filter. It's Mopar filter. They contract Pure Later, or as some say, Wix, to make the filters for them. And I guess, well, I think, uh... They do a good job. If they had us stuck in a in a silicone uh, anti drain back valve, that would have been nice. But everything else looks pretty well identical to the Purilator filter, except you know, uh, without the silicone anti drain back valve. So, uh, great filter, yes. So, uh, you should have no problems using this. Uh, but of course, use whatever you like. I'm not here to persuade, I'm just here to show the products. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Because, yeah, you know, I enjoy making videos. I enjoy doing these. So, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, I value each and every one of you who watches my videos. So, yes, thank you.